guys see him? Can you guys see this thing at home? I missed this shot, I suck. <laughs> Headshot, look at that thing. Got him! Ah! Let's, Let's catch him up! Woo! With Catch Em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Look at this fish! Catch him up! Look at Look at those fishies, guys. What we're doing today, we're actually driving around, Kelly and I over here. We're driving around um, looking for some fish. So we're looking at these canals right over here to our left, driving around slowly. Ooh, look, we found one. So there's a perfectly, ooh, big size, delicious, so bait fish for our red tails, for everything that we have at home. We have to feed them, guys. Are you ready to feed them? Are you going to fillet and release? Fillet and release. <laughs> look, that fish moved. Look, where, oh, there it is. It's running away. It's running away. It's right here, guys. But we're looking for these special fish. They're called tilapia, guys. They're invasive. They put big holes in the ground. They eat the plants. As you can see, the nest around that thing is just destroyed. There's no plant life, nothing around it. And they also eat a lot of the vegetation and other fish, crustaceans, all sorts of things. Tilapia are omnivores, and they'll eat everything around them. So, guys, I have this brand new bow. This is the Osprey by Eagle Bows, guys. This is not a promotion. I bought this bow, and I've only fired it one good time, guys. See that thing um, over there? Did you not get it? <laughs> oh, you got it! <laughs> I set it up with my own reel, guys, and I bought this special little attachment for it. Also, I'm using blood orange blood arrows, guys, and I'm gonna show you how they work right now. I prefer the roller when it comes to any other style when I'm doing my bow fishing, guys. I want you to check out the arrowhead for this. Perfect. They're a little bit more expensive, guys, but I promise you, this is the best arrow you can buy so far that I've experienced anyway, and I have a lot of arrows. Check them out. <laughs> Trust me. All you got to do is screw that on, guys. When you puncture a fish, this is how the arrow looks flying through the water. Check it out. And then when it goes through the other side and you pull the fish back, this opens up. So obviously that fish isn't going anywhere. What's awesome about this boat, it's like a compound times a recurve, guys. It's like half and half. It's really, really cool. So I can cock this back, and like a compound, I can like just rest it here so I can have this back and ready to fire for a long time and rest without getting fatigued and tired and just tired of holding this back with the recurve I cannot do this I'm just gonna be struggling eventually even if it's only 40 pounds the draw weight on this bow is between 30 and 50 pounds guys so even Kelly can draw this back and hold it she's also very strong <laughs> we got some peacock bass right here guys don't move don't move sit right there sit right there but we're not gonna shoot peacocks because you're not allowed to we got to get us some tilapia <laughs> See the tilapia right there? It's about to go into the hole. Can you see it? Yep. You see it? All right. This is my first shot with this new boat, guys. I'm not sure how I'm going to do. I see the tilapia. There's a the target right there. Let's see what we can do, baby. Here, come on the other side. Oh, he's, he's starting to run. He's starting to run. That's a big one, too. It is. It's a big one for my red tail. Oh, oh, I oh missed. No, he oh, ran into, into the tunnel. High. Guys, that's what happens when you miss. First shot, it's been a long time. Uh, I think this is the second time I've ever shot this bow, guys. First time I like nail a tilapia at night, but I'm gonna have to do better than that if I wanna feed my fish today. So to shoot this arrow, guys, you have to press the button on the reel, then the line is released from that reel. You pull this back and let it go. You never wanna dry fire though, unless there's an arrow to it, otherwise your bow will literally explode. So we're trying to sneak up on these tilapia guys. Being loud isn't so much the deal. It's not treading or stomping very hard on the ground because they can feel the vibrations of your feet in the water. So there should be a big one. Oh, there's a big one right here. Come here, come here, come here. There's a big one right here. Get close, get close, get close. Get close. You see it's swimming right towards us. Yep. Right towards us, right here. If I miss this shot, I suck. I suck. Oh my gosh. There's a big one right there on the ground. We have to aim a little bit lower because it is very deep. We're gonna see what we can do. To the left, come on. Come on, guys. Oh, he's right here, right here. Ready? Yep. Get close, get close, get close, get close. Look at this shot, guys. Three, two, one, to the dome, baby. <laughs> I think I got him. I think I got him. Oh, to the dome, baby. Yep. To the dome, headshot. First real kill in the daylight. I got that one at night. That was pretty epic with Joey, but man, that was a headshot. Look at that thing. That's a big tilapia. That is a big freaking fish. Jesus. Headshot. Look at that. Oh my. It didn't even go all the way through. That's how you know it's a big fish. Look at that thing. Sheesh. Oh my god. Look at that monster, guys. 
one headshot, one kill, lights out, guys. Most humane way to kill a fish and put it on your dinner table or feed it to your fish. Right, guys, we've been through this before, a long time ago. But for all of our new viewers, guys, you see how the arrow tip didn't go all the way through. So, how do you get the arrow through? You just gotta push, put the fish on the ground and push the arrow all the way through. See, the arrow tip is now right here. You gotta get that thing all the way through. So, huh, huh, boom, got it through. Make sure you're on a dirt surface, you don't wanna ruin your arrow tip. All you gotta do is screw that off. Check it out, get close. Boom, arrow tip comes right off. And then these ah, little bits of the arrow lean forward and then your arrow slides right out of the fish. Boom. Now we have all of this new fish, all of this fresh fish, guys. This is table fare. You could take this home, you could feed a whole family with that thing. Or you could feed ah, our big old fish. I could barely hold this thing up. That thing is a big tilapia. Nice shot for the first kill for this bow. I just cleaned off my arrow guys, but look, there's a bass staring at me right now. This might be a perfect time to use my lures. This is a freaking crystal clear body of water guys. If you don't have a good lure to catch a bass like this, look, it's literally looking at me. Can you guys see that thing? I think That's so. That's gorgeous. So we're going to see if we can catch that thing on a finesse bait, a bait that I created myself with Bass Dynasty. See what we can do. Guys, that cloud got in the way, but I wanted to show you my new lures, guys. Check it out. <laughs> We're over here on the side. It's from Bass Dynasty, guys. I gave him my idea that I had since I was 13 years old winning tournaments, guys. Check it out. Look, paddle tails, I can't even stop them while I'm holding. I can't even stop the movement, guys. This is the ultimate finesse bait. They come in all different sizes, small to large, and you can break them apart and make two swim baits out of that or a jig trailer. I'm not sure where that bass went, but we're going to find it. Take one cast with this thing, it's going to get eaten. This is how we're going to rig up the lures, guys. Boom. Small 1-0 hook. Going to just put it right through. Just like this, just like a wacky worm rig. When I tell you that is the ultimate finesse rig, the best bait, most action you're ever gonna have on a wacky worm, it is the best. It's actually available in stores and dicks and uh, field and stream and stuff. I'm also gonna put some of my favorite bass attractant, guys. It comes in a lot of different flavors, but the shad is my favorite. It's a very sticky stuff, guys, check it out. Just gonna put a little pinch of that, so when the bass does eat it, it's gonna taste it. I often put it inside the packaging and then just push them all together. That's the best way to do it. Guys, this is a small exotic jaguar. We cut our bait in half. Hopefully we can catch this exotic. It's right here. I just put my bow down. I'm not sure if you can see that fish. Why don't you come over here? Maybe? I'm going to take the cast. Let's see. Uh oh, uh oh. Let's see if he takes it. Got him! Got him! Got him. Yes! <laughs> Check it out. That's what's awesome about these baits though, guys, is that you have two baits in one. So he swallowed this thing, obviously. But so what's so cool about these baits is that you have obviously the big old worm. So it's a bigger bait for bigger fish, like a bigger largemouth bass or smaller, whatever you want to catch with a little wacky rig, right? And then you break it in half into two pieces, like I've done right here. I broke this one in half. Broke this one in half into two pieces. So I have two little swim baits, guys. I just threw it on the hook really quick because I saw that big old Jaguar with Kelly. Look at this. Oh, This oh, one's oh. really pretty. Yeah, he's really pretty. Also, swallowed that thing thanks to that bass dynasty oh. and the action on that swim bait. Just an overall really pretty fish, guys. Check it out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> he didn't like that. Look at those teeth on that bad boy. But he swallowed that thing. Hopefully he doesn't destroy me. Let's see if I can just hold his mouth open and get this lure out oh my god it's pretty tough to do this without a pliers I, I wasn't expecting the fish you want me to get the pliers no ah <laughs> oh my god guys fish there it goes finally oh, oh guys oh freak i'm bleeding fish have crushers in the back of their mouths most of them do and this one is no exception check out the mandibles on this thing check out the teeth get really close Check out the teeth. That thing has a mean smile and it just oh, yeah. destroyed me. So, this Bass Dynasty just worked. Boom, the lures work, guys. Amazing jig tails, guys, and finesse baits, guys. But I'm gonna throw this guy back. We're gonna do a whole video on how to fish with these things later. I just wanted to throw a couple clips in because it's really cool that these baits finally came out in stores, guys. Dick's Sporting Goods, Field and Stream, they have them right now available near you. Ah, ah. And I'm gonna throw this guy back. See you later. Oh, <laughs> pretty cool. All right, guys, now let's go back to bow fishing. All right, there's one up there. Come on, come on. Get up with that. 
gonna get the other one. <laughs> yeah, no. That one first. Nice. Yeah, that one was a nice shot. To the dome every time, guys. Dude, when they're sideways like that, it's like so perfect. They don't stress, they don't struggle, nothing. So when you hit them in the head, when you hit them in the right spot, the fish don't run. They don't run away from you. You know, obviously that was an instant kill. Boom, done. He's not gonna thrash, he's nothing. He just turned white just like that. Check it out, the arrow went straight through the fish. I didn't have to press her or anything straight through and then it pulls it back like so that fish is not going anywhere once you hit it now we're going to come around pick up our tilapia nice we're going to fillet these guys ah Woo! big old fish look at those things solid unit and good practice today with that new bow guys this bow is absolutely insane guys that's just ridiculous so i need a lot more practice but i feel like i'm going to get really good because it's really really precise guys this thing shoots like a freaking angel so our fish are going to be happy with that we're going to fillet them and head on home Hello, baby. Catch him up. Catch him up.